If you're in an active shooter situation, it's hard to know what you should do. So today I spoke to police. They told me they often tell people three words, run, hide, fight. If there's evil or danger out there, don't be there. So let's run. If you can't get away, let's hide. Let's shelter in place. Let's improve our position where we, wherever we are. And heaven forbid, if the, the threat's in my face and I can't escape it, be prepared to fight. Every situation is different. So there's not one right answer for how you should react. But police say having a plan in mind now that you can fall back on can make all the difference in a moment of chaos and panic. Thinking about it now, just be prepared. Have, have that contingency plan in your brain and make sure, you know, whether you have that, that uh, conversation with yourself or with your family or your coworkers or your kids, make sure you're just developing that plan before you have to navigate this horrible incident. Here are some things police say you can do now in case you ever end up in danger. Take a training class offered by law enforcement. Local law enforcement offer training classes on everything from self-defense to active shooter situations. Take a first aid class so you know the basics of how to help someone or help yourself until paramedics arrive. Have a plan in place for how you would get out or take cover. Police say having a plan in mind could make the difference between taking action or freezing in a panic. We need to be able to act. It doesn't, you know, you just, everyone kind of counts on other people to make the decisions for them. Let's get a little more self-reliant and be ready individually to protect ourselves and our loved ones. It's also difficult to identify the sound of a gunshot versus a firework, especially at an event. Let's assume the worst and our ultimate goal is to get out, get away. And you know, active shooter can happen inside, it can happen outside. So identify what it is, where it's coming from, and you go the opposite direction. But if running isn't an option, the next best thing you can do is take cover. In that particular incident, maybe find cover. And understand what cover is versus concealment. You know, cover will stop a bullet. Concealment will hide you. Police say making yourself smaller by getting down, hiding behind some type of barrier, or low crawling behind an obstacle might be your best option in some cases. If you can run, run. If you can't run, hide. And if you can't hide, be prepared to fight. Lindsay Nadrich, Krem 2 News.